So, should you get the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate? In short, yes. But if you want to find out how I feel about the certification, then keep watching this video. What's going on, guys? Your boy HD, and I'm back with a special video reviewing the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. But first things first, this video is being sponsored by Coursera, but all the views are my own. And if you want a free seven day trial or Coursera, then use my link in the description and also the first comment that'll be pinned to this video to get your free seven day trial. And after the free seven day trial is over, it's $49 a month, but I'm pretty sure you'll stick with Coursera after the review of this video. Now let's get into the details. For those of you who are not familiar with me, I am a cybersecurity professional. I have a decade of experience and I'm also a career coach specifically in the realm of getting people in cybersecurity. And a lot of times I deal with helping people figure out how to go get the skills they need in order to get into this industry. Now, I've gotten countless of comments before about what do I think about the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate, and I'm here to tell you, I think it's great. Yeah, so you know what? You ain't got to watch the video no more. I think it's great. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Let's really get into the video. So check this out. This course is meant for beginners, has a very flexible schedule, and if you did the bare minimum work, you could finish this course in six months with seven hours a week. And I think that's very doable, especially if you're a person that works a full-time job, has a family and other things that you're doing in life. I totally get it. Now, let's talk about a course overview and what this course is about. You'll learn the importance of cybersecurity, how to protect network devices and people and data from unauthorized access and cyber attacks using SIMs, identify common risk threats and vulnerabilities, as well as techniques to mitigate them. And you can gain hands-on skills with Linux, SQL, and Python. Why should you get in cybersecurity? The median salary in cybersecurity is $100,000. That's right, guys. I said median, $100,000. Also, there are over 200K job openings in the United States for cybersecurity. And 75% of graduates report positive career outcomes after taking this course. So the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate is comprised of eight courses and among those eight courses, most of the courses have four weeks attached to each course. So that means every course, you can at least take one week and finish a portion of that course. And by the time you get to the end, it is pretty much like the capstone of the course. And briefly, I want to talk about what's the name of the courses. So the courses are you get foundation to cybersecurity, play it safe and manage risk, connect to protect networks and network security. Tools of the Trade, Linux and SQL, Asset Threats and Vulnerabilities, Sounding Alarm Detection and Response, Automate Cybersecurity Tasks with Python, and the last course, Put It to Work, Prepare for Cybersecurity Jobs. Now, guys, I will tell you, I finished seven out of the eight courses program, and I'm actually going to put up some of my certificates right here. And the only reason I didn't finish all eight is because I didn't feel like going through another Python class. I've taken Python plenty of times throughout my career and my education, and I was just like, at this point... I know how to interpret it, but I don't really feel like sitting down to look at it anymore. But for people who are beginners, I think this is great. Also, with the certificate program, it's set to help you take the SEC Plus. And as a person who took the SEC Plus a decade ago, I can tell you if I had a course like this before I took it, it would have been much easier for me. So I definitely do, do think it prepares you for that. Let's talk about the program. So I think this program did a phenomenal job of being deep, but not deep enough. So if this is a swimming pool, I would say this program is four feet deep. And in some aspects, it could go nine, but it doesn't because the perception of this course is you are beginners and you're trying to figure things out about cybersecurity. And so I think that's perfect. I also like that this course is taught by people that actually work for Google. In fact, one of my friends who's actually been on my podcast, Aaron Rufford, actually made an appearance in the data privacy portion of this course, and I thought that was pretty cool. So not only is it taught by people that actually work at Google, but they also really dug down and used a diverse amount of employees throughout this certificate program to show that biodiversity is so important in cybersecurity. And I know this video isn't about that, but I will tell you as a person who's been in cyber for a while, Diversity is key because people have different outlooks, different ways they grew up, and we can address different problems that someone else with a different mindset 
may have a blind eye to. So I like that Google pretty much showcased that throughout this whole course. Now, remember I told you it's broken down into four weeks mostly. And within the four weeks, you have a short quiz at one of the beginning of the sections. And then by the time you enter the week one, you have this long, like 10 question quiz. You also have these little projects where you start getting hands on experience with where it's really helping you get a feel for things that you do in cybersecurity. I think two of my favorite sections were the detection course and also the managed security risk and because the managed security risk actually touched on the SIM portion. And as a person who works in security operations and incident response, I use a SIM day to day and I know how important a SIM is to a security's infrastructure and how it helps mitigate risk and potential breaches. So I thought that was pretty cool to let people understand about SIMs. And then also when it talked about detections, IR and Hey, you have to follow NIST and pretty much most companies build their IR standards around NIST. And I think that was pretty good. I'm looking at the NIST incident and response playbook right here. And it's preparation, detection and analysis, containment, eradication and recovery, post incident activity and coordination. Just understanding those things alone can actually help you when it comes to interviewing when you're trying to break into a cybersecurity role, especially if you're going for IR. You have to understand the phases that you're in and how to communicate those into different stakeholders. And that's some of the things that they teach you in this course. It didn't go super deep in it because it's not trying to lose you just yet. Also, this course wants to prepare you to be a cybersecurity analyst or be a SOC analyst. But I can also tell you, I think it's preparing someone to also work in governance, risk and compliance. Also, possibly vulnerability management. You can also be an incident handler. I believe it can prepare you for different roles, not just the roles that it can fixate on. So I think that's one of the things that can actually expand upon when it comes to the course overview. Now, I also like when the course, like I said, it, it gives you the quiz. You get some hands-on experience like you actually do. And all the different courses that like you do actually just learn some basic Linux functions. You do learn some basic SQL functions. And you get hands-on with them. Like you do these quizzes and you have to finish the Linux function in order to pass it. So I think that's pretty cool. You also have some stuff where it like shows you like what you possibly would see in the sim or using TCP dump and you are reading off packet captures and understand hey what is the source ip what's the source destination port i think these things are pretty cool now what i would say we, we're going to get into the cons in a second but what i would say that was a pro about this is not only did it give you that it also gives you these glossary of terms to understand for cybersecurity. some people like to ask you these different cybersecurity questions when it comes to interviewing you for cybersecurity positions so understanding these and having a glossary of these different terms from every course and every week, I think is beneficial for you as well. They give you these different downloads where you can work on incident response and audits and risk. I, I think that's, I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, all in all, I think it's a great course uh, for beginners, like not too deep, but some of the cons I think of this course is that for one, now it's not meant for a person like me, but I'm going to tell you why I think this could be something they need to work on. So every video, I can literally just click to the end and act like I watched it. So for example, let's say if your company said, hey, I need you to finish this course in order to do whatever, but you didn't take it in because you could just skip past everything and just try to memorize the questions on the quizzes. So those are one of the things, right? There are things in here that reminds me of certification exams that I don't like far as like just memorization of things. And so that's one of the issues. I think a lot of the material in here should be more so based on how long you did something. If I hit three seconds, I can click on it, go to the end and let it go. And I think that's an issue for people who actually need to learn the information and not just trying to say, Oh, look, I got all these certificates. So I got the Google cybersecurity professional certificate. So that's one reason also, how I brought up how it shows you some of the different things. You can get some hands-on skills with some of the different things. I believe that Google should have probably worked on, I believe Google, like for example, for the SIM tool, I believe they should have worked on, I think they have a tool called Google Chronicle. And I think maybe they could have implemented that in this course. I believe that would actually help them say, hey, I have hands-on experience with Google Chronicle and not saying I know how to use a SIM because I've dealt with clients who say they have a, they have SIM on their resume, but I'm like, what SIM do you know how to use? So that's key. Like a lot of things in cyber have to do with pre pretty much trying to specialize and know something of some sorts for that very reason. Also, also one of the things that I think is pretty interesting, how I say this is like 
shallow but still deep enough i also think that it can pull people different ways because it's touching on a lot of different things so the con is that you're not really spoke fixating on one area for me i know for a fact from what i experienced with students helping them fixate in one area versus exposing them to everything has been easier than just giving them too much information so sometimes i think this is good for us it's an introductory so it's not going too deep so not going too deep it's an introductory so it's showing you these different things but i'll just say be mindful of hey notate the courses you really like and then actually trying to build up on those skills to kind of niche into something in cybersecurity. that's just a free gym also i know in one of the courses it was touching on like the csp i don't really know why it was showing people the domains of the csp when this is a beginner level cybersecurity certificate program and so i think that's like useless i think that's for if you want to have a mid-level Google program or a senior level Google uh, course. I think that'll be better suited for that. But all in all, I don't have too many qualms about this course. I think it's excellent. I really think you'll get a benefit from it. The last course is called Put It to Work, Prepare for the Cybersecurity Jobs. And I really enjoy that course. Being a cybersecurity career coach, I enjoyed it because it prepared them for interviews, how to network, how to set your resume up. These are things people struggle with a lot. So the fact that this certificate program put this in there to help you out after getting this course is pretty good. Now, this course also says within six months, you should be job ready. I actually agree. I think there is a lot of good skills you gain from this course that can help you gain a job afterwards. So I definitely would agree with this. Like I said earlier, I do believe that it will prepare you for the SEC Plus. And I will tell you the SEC Plus, while well, it's a good cert, it would not be the end all be all to your career. So I would personally say the skills you learn in this course are much important to me as a person who's in the field that's a practitioner versus you actually getting a certification. But the certification can help elevate your resume. They also show you in this course on how to label this course in your resume. There are also things you can do there. For example, some of these courses could be a project. And if you just notate it the right way, this could actually be projects in your resume. All in all, I think this is a great certificate program. And like I said, please use my link in the description to get your free seven day trial of Coursera. And after that, it will be $49 a month. But this would be a great return on investment for your $49 a month. And they also have financing available if you cannot afford it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Leave comments below if you have any disagreements with me on how I feel about the course. But until next time, I'm out. Peace.